Hiring our heroes. That's what many companies and organizations are doing to help the men and women who've served this country transition from the battlefield back to the workplace. Hampton Pearson has more on this Memorial Day. This is my first search right here. Robert Lee Jr.'s 24-year Navy career ends in two months. He's about to become a civilian, and he's looking for a job. I'm just throwing some feelers out to try to find out what's out there and see what, what may be a good fit for me. He's among the estimated 250,000 service members leaving the military each year, a trend the Defense Department says will continue for the next five years. Middle-aged vets in particular, many of whom fought wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, are coming home and struggling to match their military skills to the civilian workplace. If you look around this room, that competition is, is stiff. I mean, everyone here is looking for a job, and we're kind of stacked up against one another. At this Baltimore Tech Expo, dominated by defense industry and high-tech employers looking to fill hundreds of good-paying jobs, Bruce Benedict helped veterans seeking jobs maneuver in the civilian battlefield. Most of the times when a recruiter asks them, what do you want to do, what job are you applying for, the answer from the vet's perspective is, I can do anything you want, which is what was a good answer in the service. But in the civilian workforce, it's not that good. You have to kind of focus your career. Business and government efforts to boost veteran hiring are making progress, bringing the unemployment rate for the more than 3 million post-9-11 veterans down from a 12.1 percent high in 2011 to 7.2 percent last year. Walmart is among the major corporations stepping up its veterans' hiring efforts. More than 90,000 vets have been hired in the last two years. This week, the nation's largest retailer pledged to hire 250,000 more veterans in the next five years. We want these uh, folks that are essentially a part of what we argue is the largest talent-rich, diverse pool in the world uh, that we call the military community constituencies to join our team and, and make us better. Memorial Day has always been a time to honor the sacrifice of all those who have served. Now there's a new mission, helping the next generation of veterans find a place in the civilian economy. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson in Washington.